Hi guys, so today we're going to be talking about InVision and this is like every designer's dream tool. There, is, there are just so many things that you can do with it. So today we're going to learn how to create a prototype in InVision. So make sure you guys are logged in or register if you don't already have an account and uh, I've just logged in and this is how my screen looks like. So I'm going to click on create and so as you can see there's a ton of stuff you could do but we're making a prototype right now and just uh, give it a nice name whatever you're doing. I'm going to be prototyping my recipe application that I made in XD and uh, it's actually a mobile phone application so I'm going to go ahead and select iPhone, I'm not sure which one it was, X or a normal one, but yeah, this is changeable basically, so let's go with this. Okay, and uh, so I can now add my screens to this prototype, and as you can see on the right, it says you can drag and drop your screen, so I'm just going to switch over to XD, and these are the four screens of my application. If you guys want to know how I created these screens from scratch, I made a course on Skillshare and uh, it's a 30 minutes, it's around 30 minutes and it's a very fun course so be sure to check it out. I'll add it into the description and just export these screens. Yep, you will get them on your desktop or whatever folder you've selected. Yeah, so this is, it's a pretty neat course, be sure to check it out. And so these are my screens and uh, I'll just switch over to Envision and just, you know, drag and drop all the screens into my workspace and just, okay, so you can always rearrange them in the order in which you want them to be. Yeah, that seems fine. So if I click on view screen, this is how it comes up. And uh, as you can see, you get this really cool uh, mobile uh, thingy in which your screen is present. And uh, there are like a ton of options present in the menu bar present at the bottom. And uh, so if you click on these three dots next to add label, uh, basically this will help you configure how you want your prototype to look like. You can change the iPhone skin, you can change the type of iPhone, uh, what, uh, whatever version or I don't know what they call it, models I guess. Then so yeah you could just play around with all these things giving it a background or not giving it a background. And uh, yeah so you could just play around with these options with which uh, whatever works for you guys. And uh, yeah, just click on save and it'll make sure that all the other screens in the same uh, space actually get the same design. Uh, like the basically mobile look is the same for all. And so as you can see, this is the play mode in uh, which we're on. Then there's also a build mode, a comment mode in which you could add comments and an inspect mode to inspect things. This is basically for web designers to see how many pixels distance uh, some elements are present, etc. You can navigate to the next screen with your arrow buttons or uh, also this uh, next icon. And yeah, just have a look at all of your screens. And uh, as you can see, when you uh, like hover over the prototype, uh, it actually looks like uh, you're touching it, <laughs> right? And uh, yeah. So as you can see that uh, my layout was, my prototype was actually an iPhone X XS11 Pro and that's why it fits a little weirdly onto my uh, whatever uh, iPhone 6, 8 plus white which I've chosen. So unfortunately they do not have that option so be sure to just uh, select whichever one you have. And. Uh, yeah, so this is how it's looking currently, but it's not a prototype yet because uh, I'm not clicking on the screen. So I'm going back to my home page and uh, yep, here we are. And so like in order to actually link it and make it a prototype, I'm going to enter the build mode and uh, just click on that. And as it states, you just have to make a selection. Uh, just drag your arrow and uh, link this button to whatever destination you want it to be. 
So now this destination could be, you're basically deciding what happens when a person taps or clicks uh, get started on your screen. So you could have any other buttons, but uh, what destination do you want it to go? Another point on the screen, linking it back, screen as overlay, previous screen in the series, next screen, some external URL, whatever. Or if it was one of the screens that you have uploaded. So for me, it is this case and uh, it's actually the category screen and so i can always choose if i want someone to double tap it and then want the transition to occur or if it's a single tap if it's a swipe if it's because uh, definitely if you're making mobile application layouts uh, prototypes you will need uh, different tr triggers also so just choose the transition that you want you can play around with these and just click on save and uh, yep that should be it i think if you go to play mode again and just decide to click. So yeah, if you click somewhere else, you'll see that the build area is over here actually. So you click on that and yes, you're on the next screen. So at this moment, if I click on anything, nothing is happening, but I go to the build mode and I just select the area that I want to link to some other screen. And uh, yes, just give it a destination. These are some other options, but they're not really relevant for this course, so I'm going to ignore this. This is related to templates. And uh, I'm just going to click on save after giving it a destination. And okay, I want it linked to this page. Yep. Save it. And so yeah, make sure you change your mode before you do anything, unless you want to create another link. So I'm going to enter play mode again. And now if I click somewhere else, it actually tells me that uh, the link is here. So if I click on pizzas or that whole green square, I get redirected here. And so similarly, I can just walk my way through. I also have a back button. I can add links over there, link it to the previous screen. Then I could create a link for this this one and uh, link into the next screen, which I'm doing right now. Just creating a link for this and yep. So similarly, I'll just do all, okay? And this is how finally it looks like. I'm clicking on links and this is your clickable prototype, guys. You can navigate back using the back button. You can scroll down. To see the whole application and you can always share your prototypes with your friends or teammates or just anyone and uh, just click on share and you could add people by their email addresses or you could also actually uh, you know make this public uh, a public link you could make a public link and just share that link with people and they'll be able to view your prototype And yep, you could just click on get a public link and you'll get it. So be sure to like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to comment on this video. And thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it.